Getting back to our world building project with some animals and plants this time, uh, but first I made some progress figuring out the general setting. This is a map of the as yet unnamed world. It's gonna, when I'm done, contain multiple countries, cities, civilizations, languages, etc. But the first one I'm starting with is up here in the north, in a country called Kangali, of which the people and language are named Urken. I'm pretty much done building the Urken language. I might make a conlang showcase sometime, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, the previous video about architecture and this and the next ones are gonna be set here in this cold, mountainous, and foresty environment similar to real life Scandinavia. This world was, until about 800 years ago, very similar to ours, but then some horrible chemical and nuclear event took place, and as a result of said event, some animals developed some freaky traits, like the jackalope, which in Urken is named Kovma. In real life folklore, the jackalope is a North American cryptid that's a hare with antlers. In Kingali, it's hard to spend the night in the forest without coming across one. They're fearful and slippery, but sometimes used in cooking when a hunter is able to catch one, and they shed and regrow their antlers cyclically every year. The griffin, unlike its mythological counterpart, is a small bird of prey about the size of a shrike, with four legs that end in sharp talons and orangish coloring. They are very smart and vicious hunters capable of killing animals almost as big as them. They can be trained, but they rarely are because of that aforementioned viciousness. Their name in Urken is Klinering, which translates to Claude. Hippocampus, I forgot to record the drawing, I'm sorry, can either refer to the fish called the seahorse or the mythological creature that is half horse, half fish. The ones you'll find in Kingali are somewhere between the two. There are quite large seahorses with front legs and a dorsal fin that's fairly similar to a horse's mane. They're kinda territorial, but not dangerous unless you bother them, and sometimes used in cooking. And their name in Urkan is Jovtale, which translates to water singer. Less of a mythological creature and more of a almost a normal animal but not is the Kael, sometimes affectionately nicknamed Gutslip, which translates the big hand or big paw. There are large cats, somewhere between a Maine Coon and a Lynx, in both size and appearance. They can easily survive out in the wild, but they've been domesticated in Kingali because they're cute and because they help with pest control. In that order. Another almost a normal animal but not is the jikal, or water cat. I wanted this one to be a furry semi-aquatic animal, basically like a beaver but a little more like a cat, like a longer, slinkier beaver. I even went as far as to make the stupid edit for reference, and at no point in the entire process did I remember that otters exist until I finished the drawing and sat back and thought, huh, that looks like an otter. So yeah, this is basically an otter with a beaver's tail. They're not hunted or eaten or anything, you might come across them if you're ever taking a stroll near a river in Kringali, and they're pretty curious, so they might approach you before just going on their way.
This turtle isn't even an almost a normal animal, but not, it's just a straight up turtle, but I wanted to draw it to introduce the idea of glowing fauna, as it has a bunch of bioluminescent algae on its shell. That's it, it's just a turtle. Speaking of glow and fauna though, I did these sketches a while ago and wanted to refine a couple of them. This glowing flower is a carnivorous plant. It emits light to attract small bugs and then closes up to dissolve and eat them when they land on its petals. And this glowing mushroom is a glowing mushroom. You might notice that I didn't do bugs or crustaceans in this one, they'll be getting their own video and design session because they're going to be particularly important going forward, so that's for later. That's it. Bye.